Hi everybody, Pat Huntoon here from Technique Junkies, and today I'm going to be starting a new video series called Now What? The idea behind this video series is that I make a lot of backgrounds using some of the mediums I'm working with and when I'm demoing, and then what? I end up with a big stack of things that just will sit in my bag until I either toss them or give them away. But instead of doing that, I want to show you what you can do when you make a whole bunch of backgrounds or you play with a new medium and you're trying it out with different things. I want to show you what you can do with that because that's part of the fun of it is being able to turn it into something fun and cool. Starting the Now What series using the pieces and parts that I made using the Aladdin pigment inks. And I'm going to very quickly show you how I've made most of these backgrounds, and then we can move forward on making cards. So I'm going to do it in very fast motion. I will put the uh, URL to the other video up on the screen so that you can see the full video if you have not watched it, um, and then come back to this or watch what I do with them and then go to the video. But this is a synopsis of what we're doing. So I'm gonna do it in fast time so you can see what we're doing, and uh, then I'll show you what we're going to do with these. Okay, so now that you've seen me do that once again, and hopefully you've had a chance to either watch the video or refresh yourself on the other video that shows you all of them, I'm going to sort these into three piles, really. I'm going to sort these into things that can be a full background on a card, things that are better as borders or pieces, and then other ones that are so small because I was working on such a small amount of paper that really they're good for ATCs, but they're not really big enough for much else. Or... This is also good for a focal image. Um, so I'll have a pile of ATC slash focal images. So I'm gonna work through cutting these down very quickly so that you don't have to watch me in real time. And I'll have three piles here. And once I'm done with my piles, I'll be right back at ya. Okay, so you can see that I cut these down and I have three still very substantial piles. I have um, backgrounds. These are gonna be either backgrounds or stamped into. These are going to be borders. Some of these still may end up being ATCs. And then these are automatically going to be ATCs. So, so before I start, I like to think about what I can do with each of these um, different pieces here. And this particular product that we're using, the Elodyne Pigment Ink, it is a pigment ink. So because of that, you can do a lot of things into and onto this that you might not be able to do with some other mediums because this is not a resisting medium. So what you can do, and I'll list these out here, is you can stamp into it. So I can take stays on and I can stamp into any of these pieces or a permanent ink and it's going to show up on here. I can rub additional ink onto it. I can put a stencil over it and stencil over the top of it. I could use an embossing folder and emboss into it. I can use embossing powder and heat emboss into it. I could use any of these as just a plain old background. I could use any of these to die cut from to create die cut with a lot of shapes and colors. So those are some of the things I'm going to be doing as I do these. I'm just going to pick a few at a time and do them. One of the ways that you can do this is pick out some stamps that you really like. Some stamps that are fun, sentiment stamps, uh, word stamps to go over the top, things that can be cut out before you start. So I'm going to gather those and I'll be right back. So I've pulled a whole bunch of stamps here, some that I'm going to just place over the top, some I'm going to stamp over, like these guys I'm going to use to stamp over, I thought that would be pretty awesome. Some that I'm going to use bits and pieces of, but not the whole thing. We have some, um, I have some silhouette stamps here that I'll stamp into that beautifully. I thought it would be fun to put either make a paper piece dolphin or put the dolphin over the top, but also just some plain old sentiments because they'd be beautiful on these uh, ATCs. So let me get started by showing you a couple that I'm going to do right off the bat and then I will move it up into uh, real time and we can go from there, okay? Okay, so I 
I uh, just want to mention that your best friend when you are stamping onto watercolor paper is always going to be um, a Misty or a stamp positioner. Uh, the reason for that is because watercolor paper has more teeth to it, so you want to make sure that you can get the ink down into the tooth. So we're going to start with this from the graduation greeting set, SS106. Shoot for the moon, even if you miss, you will land among the stars. So that's the first thing, and I'm going to stamp that directly on here which is one of the little ATCs. I just thought that was so pretty. Um, so we're just gonna, sh and this doesn't have to be graduation oriented, not with that saying. So I'm going to position it more or less where I want it and stamp. Okay, so I just did that and it, as you can see, it's pretty. I could just put it out just like that, but I think I'm gonna trim that down and add a layer to this and one done. All right, so I just wanna show you, you can make things that fast. Just little artist training cards. You can also use something like this over the top, maybe, oh, actually, that's not so bad. Over the top of that one, okay, or over the top of another piece. You can use this as a focal piece. So that's how you start with these. And I'm gonna speed up and uh, you can watch as I go along and see where I go with these.
probably the last thing I'm going to do today. I've been working on these for a while today. Um, if I was actually just uh, making a bunch, what I would do is make a bunch of the same thing. Like, I really love how the relaxed card turned out, so I'd probably make a few of those. I certainly would make more birthday cards because I think that's really cool, too. Um, and who can't use birthday cards? And the congratulation cards, the pineapple ATCs, everything. Um, I would just keep going on one theme for a little bit um, rather than jumping around from theme to theme and, and stamp to stamp if I were making these in one sitting on a normal basis for myself. I just wanted to show you everything you can do with the pieces and parts that you make. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the Technique Junkie YouTube channel. I hope you this was helpful to you and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.